When I hear the words tuna noodle casserole, the first thing that pops to my mind are church basement dinners. So let's be real clear. This is not your mama's tuna noodle casserole. Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table and today we're making tuna noodle casserole. Except we're gonna kick it up a notch. This tuna noodle casserole is comfort food at its finest. It's interlaced with lots of gooey melted cheese, fresh herbs, and topped with a crunchy buttery crumb crust. Now, if you haven't already got my cookbook and at least 10 of your friends my cookbook, here's a link where you can find it. It's hardback and it also comes in an interactive e-cookbook. 300 pages, lots of photos, go check it out. But I digress, back to TNC. So before we go any further, make sure you get your mise en place together. Get all your ingredients together, measured out. And if you're cooking with me in my e-cookbook, the ingredients are on the next page. Or if you're hanging out with me on YouTube or IGTV, then you'll find the ingredient list in the video description. Next, preheat your oven to 375 and spray a casserole dish with nonstick spray. So to get this party started, we're gonna go ahead and bring a big pot of water to boil. And then we're gonna salt the water to flavor the pasta. And I like to use a small handful, about two tablespoons. And then if you haven't already made your bechamel or if you've never made it before, here's a link to an in-depth step-by-step -step video on exactly how to make it. But in a nutshell, what you're gonna do is start off by making a roux with butter and flour. Use two tablespoons butter and two tablespoons flour. Then whisk in two cups of milk. Add a teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Then add a half an onion with one clove and a bay leaf and one teaspoon ground nutmeg. Now that the water is boiling, go ahead and pour in eight ounces of egg noodles and give them a good stir so they don't stick. Boil the noodles for four to six minutes. Then drain and rinse the noodles with cool water. To keep them from sticking, drizzle them with olive oil. Now we're gonna bring in our vegetables. So first, over medium high heat, melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now the reason why you wanna make sure that you're using olive oil with your butter is because it fortifies the butter and it keeps the butter from burning. Once the butter has melted and the foam has subsided, add your shallot, celery, and diced mushrooms. Okay, so cook your vegetables until the mushrooms have browned and have released their liquid. And then you can turn your heat all the way up onto high and pour in half cup of white wine. And then you're gonna let this reduce down to osec. Now osec means until dry or almost dry. Now you could throw osec into a conversation with your friends and they might think you're a little pretentious, um, but they will not be, they will not think that your sauce is pretentious. They will love it because it is this reducing down that gives the sauce so much flavor. Now you can turn the heat way down low and toss in the garlic. Let all these flavors come together for about two minutes. Then stir in your creamy bechamel sauce and 12 ounces of tuna. If you're using canned tuna, make sure you drain it. Then in goes one and a half cup peas and one and a half cups shredded cheddar cheese. Give this a really good thorough mix. Cover it and then set it aside. Let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Your sauce should be thick, creamy, and pourable. But if it's too thick and goopy, just add little bits of milk and stir it up until it loosens up and you get the consistency that you're looking for. All right. 
this guy is definitely, he was definitely a little goopy, but now he's starting to loosen up. And a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Now you can see it's really nice and pourable. There we go. Okay, we'll go ahead and add a few cranks of pepper to this and some kosher salt. Maybe about a teaspoon or so. Give it another good stir. And now we're ready to bring it all together. All right, so let's take this over to our casserole dish. There we go. So you've got your casserole dish and then you want to pour in your egg noodles. Goes on the bottom. And then go ahead and pour your tuna sauce right over the cat, right over the uh, noodles. This pan is super hot. <laughs> All right, here we go. See how that goes over so nicely. Mix together three tablespoons melted butter with one cup Italian breadcrumbs. Your topping should look like coarse wet sand. Now let's go ahead and top our casserole with our buttery breadcrumb topping. There we go. Oh my God, it looks so good. And then we'll put it into the oven at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes until the brown is golden brown. Finish your tuna noodle casserole with fresh chopped parsley. This casserole is like a really good pot of soup or chili. I mean, it's really great now, but the leftovers are even better. Mm. You hear that crunch? And it's crunchy, saucy, cheesy. I mean, this has got it all. This is great for family dinners, but I love to dish up a big bowl for just me when Jerry goes out of town and I'm binging on some Netflix. Whether you're having this with friends and family or on your own binging on Netflix like I like to, I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Now, if you're cooking along with me in my Eat Cookbook, definitely check out the dessert chapter and there is an apple cake with caramel sauce in there that is to die for. But if you're hanging out with me on YouTube or IGTV, make sure you subscribe to my channel, stick around for some more videos, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.